Thanks for staying tuned to First Alert 25. I'm meteorologist Josh Johns. So if we look at your forecast on this Sunday evening, we'll be watching for the heat to continue. Our heat advisory now extended through Monday does include Waco, Temple, Colleen, Bryan College Station as well. Does not include our western counties. However, go ahead and play like you're under it because highs will once again get into the triple digits. Let me show you what that looks like on future track because as we go through the day, I think things will be pretty quiet overnight. But then as we get into the afternoon on Monday, you'll notice the clouds start to increase. We'll call it a partly cloudy day on your Monday. However, I think showers and thunderstorms will miss central Texas for the most part. Still, maybe about a 10% chance for a few showers and thunderstorms coming up on your Monday. Then as we look at Tuesday, Tuesday we'll see a front try to work into the area and as that shows up, we'll see some showers and thunderstorms possible in the afternoon. We'll call about a 20 to 30 percent chance for your Tuesday. Really depends on how far that front goes south. Right now, future track showing you that front making it to Waco, Gatesville and Grosbeck. If it pushes a little further south, we'll increase those rain chances for your Tuesday. Otherwise, things look to be a little bit drier on Tuesday than they will be for the middle of the week as that front gets a little bit closer. So overnight we'll see temperatures fall down the upper 70s, lower 80s. Tomorrow we're pushing 100 again. I think we'll be closer around 101 than 102. However, still going to be hot. You factor in that humidity going to be feeling closer to about 106 to 107. So that heat really going to be hanging on for the day. You want to take plenty of breaks if you're going to be outside. Now, as we head into Tuesday, we'll be in the lower 80s. However, if that front which is going to be based on uh, where thunderstorms show up over towards Dallas Fort Worth. If that cool air comes out a little bit sooner, we'll push this front a little bit further to the south. But behind that front, temperatures in the mid 70s out ahead of the 80s, and it won't move much during the day on Tuesday. That's going to be key because if that front gets a little bit further south, we'll increase those rain chances. We'll cool off those temperatures. Right now, looks like it may push into central Texas. We'll call it mid 90s for highs, but again, it's going to depend on where that front ends up as we go into Tuesday as well. So 10 day forecast looks like this 101 coming up Monday. I've got 100 degrees for Tuesday. We'll call it about 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Again, if that front pushes a little bit further south, we'll increase those rain chances and we'll cool off those temperatures. Mid 90s start to work in for the middle of the week. We'll call it 93 on Wednesday, 95 coming up on Thursday. Then we head towards the end of the week and that's when a stronger front will arrive by the weekend. Look at the lower 90s coming back for next week, but at least we got some rain chances and at least we won't be into the triple digits. That's a look at your updated 10 day forecast. Thanks for staying tuned to First Alert 25. I'm meteorologist Josh Johns.